welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. So, so many things today. Oh my goodness. I am first thank thank you everybody for being here with me, for being part of the show, for calling in, for joining in on YouTube. If you want to join the show live, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes, most of the time 60 minutes. I um, take callers. If you want to be one of the callers, the number is 845-277-9131. Also, if you want to join on YouTube where we have chats going on, go ahead, go over to YouTube, put my name in, and um, join in the show that way. However you join, it's perfect. Um, so this show does air live on TV, WSCS, Roku, and a number of other streaming channels, along with many, 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 if not almost, I think most podcasts. The show is now on almost like a lot of podcasts. Um, Rude Rangers TV distributes the show on all of their venues. Uh, WSCS distributes the show on all of their venues. Okay, having said that, thank you, um, Rudy, and thank you, Scott, for all of the work that you do for me and the show. I just adore you guys so much. Next, a um, couple little things. Um, first, I said a while back, quite a while back, it was when a jackpot was pretty high, and I said, we're going to see a billion-dollar jackpot. And then after that, the lottery is going to come out with a a new game called um, that is that starts like basically at or near a billion dollars. Well, today I woke up and I looked at Mega Millions, and it's at a billion. I just I wanted to see if I won last night's jackpot. Apparently, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it's at a billion dollars. And no, just because I'm a psychic, it doesn't mean I should be able to win the lottery. I wish it were that easy. I wish, right? Um, but it's at a billion dollars. Now, I'm not sure if this is the first billion dollar jackpot, but there we go, folks. It, we are at a billion dollars. Now, I say give it about a minute and there is going to be a new game from the lottery, and it's going to start at a billion. Having said that, the next thing that I want to go to, if you would like to connect with me, if you would like to connect with me via um, social media, there's a link in most of the descriptions that will get you to all of my social media pages. However, I am on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> TikTok, mostly I just do healings for people. The, the healing this morning, it was for depression. So if you or somebody you know is suffering for, from depression, please go over there and uh, direct that clearing to whomever needs it or use it for yourself. Um, the other page I have on TikTok, I love, it's called Live Beauty Reviews, and it is, um, it's live.beauty.reviews, and it's just um, do, <laughs> being a guinea pig for beauty products and such. <laughs> oh, yes. Let the fun begin. <laughs> um, and then next, what else, what else? I have little notes here. Okay, I'm going to just say... I'm just going to, I'm going to say a little something about relationships here. First and foremost, when I talk about relationships on the show, I understand how difficult a relationship dynamic is. When we are in a relationship and we are trying to get through our own personal life and then we have somebody else's life has entered and trying to mesh those two lives and then mm, understanding each other and working with each other and making it successful is not easy. And 
society or whatever has led us to believe through romantic comedies or fairy tales or whatever, that relationships are very different than what they are. I've seen people with really amazing, seemingly healthy relationships, but they work at it. They have agreements with each other and they really, really work at it. Um, and then I see really, really chaotic, dysfunctional, toxic relationships. One of the problems that I see with relationships today is we're so busy trying to figure out what's going on with the other person that we're not making logical, healthy choices for ourselves. Let me repeat that. We're so busy trying to figure out what's going on with the other person. Are they doing this? Are they doing that? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? We're in a state of confusion. Are they cheating? Are they not cheating? Uh, if there's not another person, I don't want to break up. I don't have evidence. I need evidence. Are they lying? Are they not lying? Um, it, it, there's a state of confusion with one of the people. And because of this state of confusion, you are stuck. You become obsessive in your thoughts about this person and you can't move forward. You don't want to break up in case you're wrong. You don't want to uh, have it continue the way it is. And here's, here's what I'm going to say. It really doesn't matter if they're cheating. It really doesn't matter if they're lying. If you are in a state of confusion, illusion, delusion, if you are in a state that is putting you in a place where you have to wonder if your relationship is secure or stable, get out of that relationship, at least temporarily. Sometimes you can't fix what's broken from inside of it. Sometimes you have to get out and then the other person's willing to work on it or talk or, or have different conversations about it. But the bottom line is, here's the bottom line. Most of us are normal, healthy, logical people, regardless of what our exes say about us, okay? If we do not feel stable or secure, we do not belong in that situation. We do not. And let me say this. You don't deserve that. You do not, under any circumstances, deserve to be in a situation where you do not feel safe. And that doesn't mean only physically. If you think your partner's out there creeping doing whatever they call it today. And I don't care if the person had a bad upbringing. Who the fudge didn't? Who didn't have a, 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 a chaotic whatever upbringing? Who didn't? Okay? Like, I, I don't care what their last person did feel secure as far as their loyalty and love towards you. If you do not feel stable, like they're in this for the long haul, you have every right to excuse yourself from the situation. And furthermore, you do not deserve to be in a situation that has you feeling anything other than loved, safe, and secure. That's the minimum a partner should bring to the table if they're wanting a long-term relationship. Now, here's the problem. Many of us are in relationships hoping the other person is going to get there. Mm -hmm. We hope something's going to happen. We hope they're going to finally see we're the one. They know we're the one. They wouldn't be dipping their diddly in our dew if they didn't think we were all that. Trust me, 
on that. They wouldn't. Okay. We're just hoping they're going to get to that next step and want, and a person wanting a full on relationship might not have anything to do with you personally. It's just where they are in their life at that time. So don't take it personal and never, ever try to win someone. Once you go into competition for someone, you will be competing for the rest of your life. If only in your mind, you will be competing for the rest of your life for that person. Now, having said all of that, I'm about to start taking callers. If you'd like to call in and be part of the show, the number is 414-897-2869. Nope, that is not the number. Do not call that number. That is my business number. <laughs> the number is 845. Wait, what's the number? 845-277-9131. <laughs> the other number, 414, that's my business number if you want to schedule an appointment, a private appointment. You can, uh, if you want to schedule a private appointment, you can also go to go to my website, find out all the information you need. My website is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. I am going to go to uh, t start taking callers. I want to say hi to everybody uh, joining me on YouTube. Lolly, hey, Chico, what's up? Um, and uh, Mecca, Mecca, I think her name is, Oh, no, Nika. I'm sorry. I'm massacring your name. I'm so sorry. Patrick, Caroline, um, Heather. I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Thank you so much. And Cindy, I know you listen to my shows. And Jess, I love you guys so much. And um, Jana, there are so many people. Mark, um, Matthew, thank you guys so much for for being a part of the journey. I'm going to go to the very first caller who is 586. 586, how can I, uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Sherelle in Michigan, how are you? I'm good, sweetie. Thank you so much for uh, calling in today. So what's your question and uh, what's your question or connection that you would like to um, work on today? I would like a connection from the other side. And the name of the person you would like to connect with? Lele. Lele. Oh. Okay, so the energy hits me and it's like, she's like, where's the party? <laughs> I don't know if this is her energy or somebody else's energy, but the first thing that hits me is a lot of fun. Um, and where's the party? Is this the right energy that I'm connecting to? Yes. Okay. Thank you for that confirmation. I just want to make sure I have the right. It's uh -huh. it's very normal that more than one person will step in sometimes, but I want to make sure I have the person that you want. So the first thing Lele wants to say to you is, um, oh, she's singing this song and I cannot, I as I get the beat of it, as I get the words of it, I'll, everybody, grab your, I'll, Oh, back street. Back. Okay, I think it's that song. But I, I think I think if you know it, you know it. If you don't, I'm my singing is not going to get you there. That's for sure. Uh, okay, so the first thing she is saying is it was a really wild ride, but she doesn't have any regrets. She wouldn't change a thing, except for maybe that one thing. And then she just busts out laughing, and she is saying that she is so. She is so, um, okay, now she's getting serious. Now she's getting a little serious. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> and then she's go, she goes, oh, she goes, girl, if I knew, if I knew then, oh, and she, the way she's saying this, she's not saying what that is, that if she knew, but I know you know, because if she needed to elaborate, she would. She is saying that uh -huh. she, um, she, um, she's really grateful for everything. She, looking back, looking back on, on everything as it happened and how it happened, she, she, she's saying she finished her job. Now that doesn't mean a job here 
one specific job here on earth, that means she came, she did what she came to this plane to do. Um, so she finished her job. Whatever yeah. that job was, she finished it. She did it. Job complete. She goes, I can check that off my box now. Um, and she wants you to know that she is, she's sorry. And I'm, I'm as she's talking, you know, folks, I, I, I need to let everybody know, as loved ones are talking uh, and they're saying things, I'm also asking them questions. So some of the information I, I won't get because it's just, it, they, they know you, the person it's meant for knows what they're sorry for or what that one thing was like, you, you're going to know that where they don't need to announce it to the whole world. Um, she's sorry. And she, um, uh, whatever that, whatever that means for you, for you personally. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what the message is. She says she should have, she said, okay. She's saying she should have turned around. She should have turned around. She should have turned around. Now, I don't know. And I have goosebumps on my legs on that one. I don't know if that is a literal, she was on her way someplace and she should have turned around. Or if that was, she should have turned her life around at some point. Or she should have turned around her, for oh. example, finances. She should have turned around her relationship. She should have turned, but she should have, turned, yeah. she should have turned some people in many ways. Yeah. Exactly. And for her, for her life, for each person's life, that statement's going to be different. But for her life, that statement has a specific meaning. And, and if you think about it, you're going to know what that meaning is. And then it might've been like a relationship thing because she keeps singing. I keep hearing that song by Bonnie Tyler, turn around every now and then I get up. <laughs> a, little, a little bit lonely and I never see you coming round turn around oh Jesus not today <laughs> oh that is like way back when song um, so she should have turned around she should have turned around whatever that means or whatever that meant she should have turned around now she wants to go into confirmation to some confirmations like when you see these that means um she's around and that she's uh, um letting you know she's there so one of her confirmations are these yellow um lilies or not tulips look little like they're the pointy like they're like lilies i think they're lilies i can see them lilies i'm just gonna go with lilies. yellow lilies lilies and even if they're white and she's saying um now the next thing i'm oh, she's throwing flowers at me so fast right now the next thing i'm going to say is um oh, or oleander or or oleander or, or, or uh, somebody tell me how to say this word oleander i don't know i i don't i don't know this word i don't know what this is i think i think it's Orly. O oleander or oleander or i think it's i think it's like a poison a poisonous flower <laughs> i don't uh, know <laughs> i don't know i i don't know i just i don't know i don't even know if i'm saying uh -huh. it right and then the next thing she uh okay she's uh, flowers any flowers but especially those those crazy flowers and then um the other thing that is a, a confirmation for for from oh i love that one uh, and i know why okay so um bunnies whenever you see a bunny um any kind of bunny um she is letting you know she's a well she's letting you i know. have a bunny oh my gosh really then that is it. Yeah, yes, so, I, have. I <laughs> love that. So whenever I, you see, I have my bunnies. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, go I'm ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead, love. You go ahead. No, 
I said I had my bunny for about three years now. <laughs> okay. So that's so funny. That So that confirmation of whenever you see a bunny, that means she's just always around you because you're always seeing your bunny and she's letting you know that. So please uh, know that. Um, uh, yes. Um, the word, so one of my YouTube people. Yeah, I'm I sorry. Hope. Go ahead, love. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Said, go ahead, love. She's be there during my pregnancy when I deliver my baby. I hope she's be there around me during my pregnancy. Yes, I'm hearing yes. And I'm hearing, okay. So a lot of people, one thing I, I always say um, um, to people is when a baby comes in, they've been on the, the obviously the other side and they, they're getting acclimated and their loved ones on the other side help acclimate them and teach them, you know, about us in the life they're coming into. And she is now one of those people. And this baby is going to have a personality like you cannot larger than life and funny. And um, <laughs> like, I see this like my, like this little bean going, you bet not like with the little head movement and everything, but being so funny about it, this, this child, like if I were going to choose a word, but it wouldn't be the right word, it would be a little bit snarky, but I'm going to just choose the word funny. Um, it, this, this child's going to have to, you, you know, you're going to have to really work on appropriate timing and appropriate places with this baby on on jokes and sarcasm because otherwise it will be on okay. all the time but this this child is going to be funny 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 um and just have so much um um character and just so much life um so please know that that that's going to be coming in and yes, she will be there. She's saying with a catcher's mitt. Ha 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 ha. Um, so yes, okay. Those are her messages for you. That's what she wants to say. That's what she wants you to know. And she wants you to know that she's okay. um she's gonna be hanging around as hanging around like as as much as she can but even more than before like so she's just always going to be I with hope you so. and i really she, want a connection with her i really want to know she here I yeah so. and she's also letting me know she's going to help you like through the first six months especially the first three months she's going to be helping with the baby okay thank you yes and the, the name, you. you are so welcome. Message. Thank you. And the name of the Go flower, ahead. Patrick from, um, from YouTube said Oleander. Uh, pretty, but poisonous. Oh, no. I was, it is poisonous. Oleander, very pretty, but poisonous. And she goes like me, <laughs> pretty, but poisonous. <laughs> so that is, thank and you I so much. <laughs> thank you. Be a little girl. That would be nice. Uh, yes, yeah. I, you know, I I don't like to give out the sex of the baby, but I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. That's all I'm saying. Just saying. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Okay. You have, uh, thank you again so much for calling in. Um, no, I hope, thank you. I really appreciate you a lot. Oh, Very you, helpful. Mom. And I'm I will so go back grateful. and listen to the um, video on YouTube. Thank you. Oh, thank you, you so much. You have a good day, okay? You too. Thank you. And you're love. beautiful as well. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller in just one second. So please hold on. I want to say hi to some of the new people on YouTube. Um, so it's... N-E-C-K-A, sorry if I mispronounced that. Please know I um, did not mean to. Um, and she called in a few weeks and haven't been able to speak to you 
live. I hope you can answer my question. I wanted to know if there are any messages for Spirit Mate for me. Okay, um, can you please uh, narrow that down a little bit if there's one specific person that you want to connect with on the other side? And then uh, Jess Preet, Jess, Jess Preet, and um, I'm sorry I can't pronounce names very well, guys. Um, Uh, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. And you guys, it's always easier to connect with me through calling in and asking the question. And the, um, the number is 845-277-9131. Um, the people on the call log have been waiting for 15 minutes before the show even started. And um, I always feel like I really want to give my attention to them for that reason. I'm going to go straight to 312, 312. Um, and it's easier, honestly, for me to connect to energy when I'm talking rather than everybody um, in a chat. Um, so 312, what's your, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm calling from Chicago. Hey, Brian, how can I help you today? Sure, yes. Uh, back in May, um, I was laid off from a job that I had been working at for a year. And I've been, um, had a few interviews. Um, some were turned down, some didn't select me. And I recently applied for a, a dream job of mine, so I'm waiting to hear back. And I really want to know when do you see a breakthrough coming for me? Okay, the first thing I hear is September. Um, now, a breakthrough doesn't necessarily mean that that's when the job's coming in. That might be when you actually are starting the, the position. Um, I feel like September is going to be a really good and powerful breakthrough month for you all the way around. I feel like during the month of August, there's going to be a lot of communication or what they're calling chatter back and forth. I feel like you are going to have some opportunities coming in all through August. And then in September, something uh, you're going to be, you should be, you, you could be, depending on how everything plays out, you could be starting something new. I do feel like, hmm, okay, I feel like, during the month of September, you're going to get two, two, possibly three offers. Now, I always, always say this, even if it's not what you want, just take it. It takes the pressure off of not having it and it puts you in a new energy. And But one of the offers is going to really stand out to you and be what you want. I feel like that offer starts sometime in August, like the interview process starts sometime in August. And then it, it by September or in September, you should be with that, that particular offer. But there will be maybe two other offers. Either way, um, September is your breakthrough month where everything starts moving forward again. So for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, watching, re-watching, um, you're stuck. I get a yes. We're going to clear that. Um, all that's causing us to be stuck has been cleared, released, and healed. I get a no. Let's clear that. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I will be back Monday at noon to give you another hour of this. Thank you so much. You guys have an absolutely amazing weekend.